Hello and welcome to a special edition of Our Crazy Life, Happy Mother's Day edition. Happy Mother's Day, all those great mothers out there. Yes, it's, and happy Mother's Day to you as well. Thank you. You're, you're a mother and a Gigi. A mother and a Gigi, yeah. a mother and a grandmother. Grandmother, so... Yes. Uh... So we were talking about different things, and, and then you were talking about with your youngest daughter, who's uh, pregnant. I was, yeah, I was telling my youngest daughter, because I was giving her, Kayla. trying to give her some guilt, um, because she went this weekend to Florida to see her father-in-law. They drove up to yeah. and her. I was like, you do know it's Mother's Day weekend. And she, and did, she, get, she did give us custody of the dog. Yeah, we have our dog for a week. Um, and so she's like, well, Mother, you do know I'm pregnant, so next year I will be a mother, so it's not about you anymore, it's all about me. And I was like... No, it is not. I go, I'm your mother. You're teaching your child how to honor your mother so that your child will honor you. Tradition. Yes. Generation. Anyway, she told me yesterday she was just doing that because she knew it would bug me. <laughs> That's why she said that she was no longer going to be about me anymore. Well, usually when she says mother, she's yeah. serious. Yes, she is. Both my daughters would go, mother. 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 So I always know that that meant that they were serious about something or taking my... my uh, card away as they would say your mother's day card away. not my mother's day card but you know like if they like i remember one time at one of one of the meetings that heather was in a college and the counselor or whoever the advisor said you know do you want your is it okay your mother to come in with you and she's like yeah i'm fine with that no big deal and then i meant to go say something and then she, the my daughter goes uh do you want your card taken away and go but sitting back outside i was like no i will be quiet you are the adult going to college i will be quiet i will sit here and be quiet yes anyway so i thought it was funny so do you look forward to mother's day is an exciting day for you it's a mixed emotion my mother's not around anymore so that's my second year without her being here um i and my grandmother not around so it's a little it's a little different for me i don't know i'm i mean i don't know i don't look at it the same way, maybe, as I used to look well, at Well, you get it. to see your family tomorrow. You get to see... Well, well that's other the best than part. Kayla. And other than see, Kayla. You get to see grandkids. Yeah, grandkids. You know, that's the you best part. You get to see son-in-law, daughter-in-law, yeah. Yeah, that's son, all good. Daughter, it's always good to get together with your family. Family, and you get, I see, enjoy all, that. All, you get to see three of the grandkids. Right, there's well, only Well, there's only three. three here yet. Anyway, I don't know. Um, so, but my favorite part <laughs> is... I didn't mean to interrupt you. Every time you say, I got this for Hayden, I go, who the hell is Hayden? That's all I bought something. Oh, I forgot. That's our... Future grandson. Future grandson. Sorry for the... I'm hitting Thinking it. Of the but, you know, like today when I went to Zach's baseball game, it was so cute, his T-ball, when he came running up to me. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. That kid could run up to me. I, I think if I had money, if I was rich, I would give him whatever he wanted just well, he, for that. He, he runs up to you, and then he kind of gives me the, yeah, hey, Papa. Yeah. It's that, a, it's a, I'm, that, that, again, I don't, I don't it's going it to change, I'm I, sure, when he gets older. I don't, it's take, be I don't about, take it personally. You know, I watch you and Jay, the way the two of you talk baseball. Eventually, your grandson will be doing that, too. So it's kind of... You know, so let me enjoy my moment well, with well, him, all right? We, now we talk Paw Patrol. I'm, I'm cool with that. All right, okay. So do you have a... a um, there's, so there's no tradition. You know, just, just I don't a, know. You're supposed to be taking care of me. It's, it's, I did carry your children. Yeah, that, that was your fault. But, uh... <laughs> just kidding. Well... Well, it's not my... It's, you're not my mom. I just... You're, no, but aren't you teaching your children how to honor their mother? Yeah, I say, do something for your mom. Do something. <laughs> I'm the one that organized everything. I, got, I said, hey, look, we need to do something for this weekend. And they you all did. stepped up. You did. So there, you got that. But I do find it funny. When I used to own the mailbox, et cetera, I used to have cu- customers would come in and go, uh, yeah, I got to get this to my mom. I got to send it overnight. I mean, they would actually spend more on the shipping yeah. than what the gift was. And I said, well, if you just ship it regular, No, no, it can't be late. It has to be there on time. But then you have the thing for Father's Day. That, yeah, just in the cheapest way. It doesn't so I think matter. dads think it differently than mothers, don't you think? Yeah, I, I mean, to me, it just, it's just a day. I mean, I, I, it's a day. I mean, you sit there and go, okay, yeah, I was a dad. I'm a dad and stuff like that. But, but you have a different approach about everything. You're that way about your birthday, too. You're like, ah, just another day. Just another day. Well, because it's, to me, the birthdays were cool. But, but, but your birthdays parents really made important. a big deal about your birthdays, though. So I don't understand why you don't make a big deal about other people's birthdays. Well, it's a big, it's a big deal for my birthday up until I was 21. After that, I was like, okay, now I'm just sitting around waiting to die. Well, that's a sad thought. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. My mother loved birthdays, so she would always make a big deal about it. And I think yeah. that's what I miss most, you know, because no matter what, how old I look forward to her, even though she drove me crazy when I was, she was on this earth, um, she did, you know, would always call and sing happy birthday. And then I would get... Which wasn't always a good thing. Oh, she had a good voice. And then the other thing was then I would hear, like, whatever year my birthday was, she would then go in to tell me what she was doing at that time of her life. So... 
So 1960? <laughs> no, so, I'm, no, I'm asking. no, I'm just saying, no, 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 no. Like, if I, when I turned 59 this year, she, when she, oh, she when she alive, turned 59, she would have called me up and said, well, when I was 59, I was doing X, Y, and Z. So I thought that was kind of funny, you know, it was my day that it would always turn around back onto her. So <laughs> the kids would say the same thing when she would call the kids up for their birthdays, her grandchildren, which she adored. She would do the same thing. She would talk about what she was doing in her 20s and 30s and stuff like that. So I thought it was Well, cute. I think she's just sharing memories. Yeah, I did. At the time, I just thought, although she was talking about herself, but I realized she was probably just sharing memories. Because that was some, hard on her. Because some of the best things, you know, like when, you know, your relatives that pass away, some yeah. of the best things are the stories they tell. Like right. my, my dad didn't tell any stories until almost... You know, end of his life. End of right. his life, and now you're, you're finding out all this stuff. You you care about stuff like this? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Because you you like to know your history and right. you, you know what your you know the family tree and all the right. different stuff and how right. and how you, your your dad wasn't just a dad or your mom right. wasn't just a mom. Right. They were they were a human. <laughs> right. Well, and I just think you know our generation is probably more open than the, our parents' generation, and then more open than my our grandparents' generation. I think as you move forward, you well, obviously more... I, I think people share more now because you have social. Social media. Right. You have people sharing stuff on there. I go that I would never share, but that but that's I'm not criticizing. No, no, no. Just that's something just, you just don't just do. People but do. How what how what what we're used to. Right. It's like one thing that Heather was talking about. Her daughter. She's like, you know, I just hope we have a great relationship like you and I have. And I said, well, you will. I said, you're you know, you're easy to talk to. You're you're involved and stuff like that. She goes, yeah. She said, you know, and I thought it was cute when she said, you know, I'm going to be like you. You know how you talk. I could talk to you about anything. We would talk about stuff. You know, I remember trying to watch some of the shows she was watching just to kind of see what she was watching, just to kind of get an you idea. You watched the, the uh, uh, Sweet Sixteen, a lot six, of the MTV six, stuff. Sixteen and Pregnant, which yeah. I thought was the dumbest. And show. And then um, Sweet, and then the birthday stuff. Oh yeah. Sweet Sixteen. Then I used to like listen to some of the bands that she went to, which I did enjoy. Green Day and Nickelback, and even started watching and, uh, Keeping and sing, Up with the Kardashians. Keeping Up with Kardashians. I used to watch it. Just not. My approach was sometimes kids didn't want to tell you things, so I did it a different way. I would right. try to, you know, kind of watch what they were watching so that I could then involve myself in a conversation with them and be able to get some of the stuff out of it. Because you can't just say, how was your day? That's just how I felt how to be as a mom. I don't know if it was a right or wrong way. That's just how I felt was to figure out how to My get My approach involved. was leave me alone. No. Yours was sports. <laughs> the kids would try to, they would bond with you over sports. Yes. That was how they built their relationship or you built your relationship with them, so... But a mother's day, I think it's important. I think it's a good day. I think it's important to honor your mother um, here. Well, because, yeah, they did bring you in yes. to this world. They carried you for nine yes, months. they did. And if anyone who's been pregnant That's a knows long. that that is a long, long time. And it's, it's not, funny, though. The girls keep asking me when they've both been pregnant. They would say to me, you know, do you remember? I, I don't remember. Like yesterday when I went with Kayla, she went and got some maternity clothes for herself. I remember you being pregnant. I know, but I don't remember. She's like, well, did, what were you like at this stage? I go, I couldn't, I couldn't tell you. I don't remember. I don't remember it being difficult because they both have a lot of acid reflexes and stuff like that. I don't remember any of that. Now with Kayla, I had well, a... Well, Heather had a difficult pregnancy. Yeah, Heather did too. Um, but I had like with, I didn't have anything with Heather. It was pretty easy with Jay. With Kayla, it was pretty easy except for the short four month period when I got that parasite. Right. I got somehow had a parasite in me and it was a disaster. And of course, then nobody listened to me because they thought I was pregnant. And I'm like, no, this doesn't start happening at the fourth month. You don't. Well, start no getting... one likes to listen to people that are pregnant. Anyway, again, that's where my mom being a nurse was helpful because she said, no, this is not this is not acceptable. We got to figure this out. So anyway, um, but little things like that. But I hope everybody has a great Mother's Day and enjoy if your mother's here or not here. Um, or are, you can remember your mom. Remember the good times. Yeah, well, I do. Absolutely. I don't. There's nothing negative. I don't have anything negative. I can tell a lot of funny, great stories about her. I mean, my mom's still here. I have to call her tomorrow. Ah, your mom's a great lady. Don't say that about your mom. <laughs> People always thought your mother was my mother because your mom was more like the kind of mom I would have wanted. My mom was just a different mom. But your mom. It's so funny. Your mom wasn't a. I guess she was. She like would you consider her a Betty Crocker mom? She was when she was when I was a kid. You mean cooking wise? Yeah. Well, no, you know, but like I wanted, I wanted the mom that would, you know, be there and make cookies and stuff like that. My mom. No, my was, mom. My mom did that. She, you know, she did a lot of the cooking. Yeah, and stuff involved. Like that. She was in the PTA. That, that's the kind of mom I wanted to have. I had that kind of mom. I did not. I had a mom who was like, okay. I had the mom that always was was had an opinion. What's wrong with that? I'm just kidding. You married one who always has an opinion, so obviously you didn't get rid of it. It's been a nightmare. Aww. <laughs> Oh, I'm kidding, of no, course. No, is it? I love you adore your mother, so please. I always called you a mama's boy. He is a mama's boy. And that's an insult. Nobody likes to be called a mama's it's boy. It's not an insult. I don't want to be called a mama's boy. But you do. You adore your mom. She's okay. You. Oh, my gosh. You're, you're crazy about your mother. Not not, not like, oh my, like, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, not obsessive with her. No. no. She's, but you, she's she, my mom. You, you respect her. I would you do look anything up to her. for her. Absolutely. She would do anything for us. Yep. She raised a good man. 
She did raise a good man. Well, that, that's for sure. I'm only thinking there's... Thank she, God she, she taught only, you to put the toilet seat she down. She only had one son, so I'm trying to think who else it could be. <laughs> no, I, I, I did have to put the toilet seat down. That is rule number one. Oh, my gosh. She raised you well. And so I, always, I thanked her for that. Cause who you're, left the toilet seat up? <laughs> it was, I had never... It was my sisters. In, in my 33 years, I have never, ever fallen in the toilet. Well, give, give it time. Oh, you think you'll forget one day? <laughs> I'll forget one day. Anyway. Well, now we're just the two of us, so we have our own bathrooms I now. have my own bathroom, which is great. <laughs> but I don't like your bathroom. Your bathroom I know you bathroom, don't. It has a chair in there. Yeah. Everything's in the oh, way. I love my bathroom. I have my two sinks. I get my stuff spread out. You have your bathroom. I have my... That's the best part about getting older, is that there's some things you get to do now, so we don't share a bathroom Yeah, anymore. the kids moved out. We, yeah. we have our own bathroom. I can do whatever yes. I want in that Yes, that's very nice. That's You'll very come in cool. there and go, oh, your bathroom... I go, my bathroom is cleaner than yours. I would agree with you. I don't know how because you have a small little bathroom. I have the master bathroom. Well, I I pick up things. Well, I don't pay. I don't do it as much now because you're not in there. So I'm not good. At, I don't sweep the, the hair on the floor as much. I don't. Keep well, there's no hair in my bathroom. No, I know. I don't keep it as clean because I know you didn't like my hair all over the place. So I don't. I'm no. not as as. Um, yeah, I think it was more jealousy. Seeing the hair <laughs> oh, all over the place. But. I'm sorry you feel that way. But anyway, no, we're getting off topic. We're getting off topic again. All the moms out there, all the grandmas out there, all the future moms out there, enjoy or your day. Or moms who, you know, are, are maybe didn't birth their children, but they're moms in a different way yeah. that help their children out. Any, anyway, anyone can um, be, yeah, it's a mom. Yeah, there's some great moms out there, uh, so yeah, we didn't mean to say that. Just, we didn't mean to say that just carrying the baby. You know, yeah. I mean, anyone who cares for a child. In my opinion, is a mom. Right. Anybody that loves that that way is yeah. amazing, so. so. Happy Mother's Day, Happy everybody. Happy Mother's Day, and we'll be back Monday with a different for our crazy life, what happened with the weekend, and we have a disagreement to talk about. Yes, we do. But anyway, that's it. We're Happy out. Happy Mother's Day. Bye. <laughs> Sorry.